Moving on, visitation for the Terre Haute woman killed last weekend at full term pregnancy is happening at this hour. But friends and family are seeing to it that the role of 29 year old Aaron Shook took more seriously. The role of mother continues to be upheld for the two young children who survived their mother's traffic accident. News 10's Brent Frazier joins us now here in the studio with more on the family's fundraising efforts. Brent? Jacqueline, even though Aaron Shook's unborn son did die along with her shortly after the crash, the single mom's two surviving kids still have to be looked after. The two kids each have a college fund that's certain to get bigger in the bank, and this fundraising endeavor is already seeing overwhelming support. Her life was starting to change. She just bought her first house. Brittany Isles almost makes you envy the friendship she had with Aaron Shook. A strong bond traceable back to the sixth grade, she says. A kinship that only drew the girls closer as they blossomed into young women. It's just sad. Brittany is opening up about her very private, personal connection with Aaron to share with the world a little bit about the woman, now the face of a very public collision the day before Easter. A headline grabbing run in between Aaron Shook's van and another driver's pickup truck. They both say they didn't see each other. I know that when her mom was with her and she was still able to talk and all that, that she just kept saying it wasn't my fault, it wasn't my fault. No one's, the, I, no, none of them saw each other. I know the driver of the truck was really shaken up and he just said he didn't see her either. You'll note Brittany Isles cited at least a slight account of what happened from Erin herself, the full-term pregnant mother of two who died in an Indianapolis hospital Easter Sunday. That's because Aaron, a perpetual fighter, according to Brittany, lived at least a short time. Ejected and pinned beneath her own van, able to communicate with her mother, a registered nurse who happened upon the scene almost immediately. Yes, she was talking to her mom. All she, basically all she was saying was, is my baby alive? She kept asking if the baby was alive and she kept saying it wasn't her fault. It's bad enough Aaron's mom, Debbie Vincent, had to witness the aftermath of her daughter's deadly crash, but Aaron Shook's own two children, 10-year-old Brendan McCracken and 6-year-old Adelina McCracken, were passengers in Aaron's van. Those two children who came out of that crash virtually unscathed are now the focus of some serious fundraising efforts. Loved ones have funded, founded rather, a college scholarship fund for both Brendan and Lena, and it's a fund you, the public, can contribute to. There's a website, or you can drop off a donation in person at any old National Bank branch. Jacqueline, we will link our viewers to that memorial fund site via our site, WTHITV.com. Thank you so much, Brent, for that heartwarming story.